Lights on. Well, welcome back, viewers, to the uh, Inkerman three quarter time report. Uh, I'm Jeff, and this is Grego, still Jeff and Grego. Yes. And uh, we're just going to reflect now on the uh, the game as it is it's still 23 points to difference the same it was as it was at half time uh, what do you think Grego what's what's going to happen from here well again it's hard to predict Jeff isn't it you know, it is it's a game of footy it's uh, can be up and down but um, yeah nothing actually changed on the scoreboard did it as far as uh, the, the uh, gap on the score goes so um, oh, I'm even a little bit more nervous about my draw prediction now than I was at half time yeah, well, because uh, uh, yes I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're going to win the biscuits at this stage. Well, what about the X Factor though? Um, <coughs> what's his name? Um, uh, Ree Walt, yeah. you know he kicked about, what did he kick three goals in that quarter? He did, he yeah. came into the game. He's still the X Factor. He did come into the game. Uh, but I'm still on Jay Schultz to kick the winning goal. Well. The last goal, maybe. He's Jay got to get a goal. Jay who? Jay Schultz, yeah, yeah. Is he out there? I yeah, haven't seen yeah, him. Yeah, no, he'll, he'll be fine. He's, he's, he's playing just, his he first game, right? Needs, needs, needs a run. He's had an injury. Yeah, oh, I know and, that. Uh, he's, uh... He'll soon be in the in the last half of the season. If Port Adelaide get a sniff in the finals... He'll be their X-Factor. He'll be the X-Factor. Along oh. with Charlie and... Uh, Charlie uh, and, and... Chad and... and yeah, Justin. Justin and yeah, Hamish all those guys and, and Ollie and, yeah, and a few all, others, you know. All those people, yeah. I tell yeah, you what. Kane, Kane's come Kane, back and Kane. he's done a good job on he, holding Cotchin down, hasn't he? Has, he? Yeah. You so what's the, what's the three quarter time score, Gregor? Uh, three quarter time score, Jeff, is 11-5 uh, to 7-6. 11-5 uh, to 7-6. Yes, which is still the same 23 point so that's advantage. 16 scoring shots to 13. So yes, not, exactly. No, it's, yeah, it's, um, their sorry. straight kicking has, has done well for them, Port Adelaide. They've kicked well under pressure. Oh, and in the rain. In the rain, 11 5 is, a, is a pretty straight kicking. Exactly and and right. tell you what, I, I really, I'm really. Um, I've got to hand it to the fans that come out on a cold night like that. You yes, know I mean, no. they're even here with us. Look. Well, exactly yeah. right. There's a fan on your left. And on your right, sorry, no, yeah, it's yours. Yeah, it's my left, one isn't the, it? One of the fans here on, well, a, got on a one, night like this. One fan here, exactly right. Yeah, um, who are yeah, you thinking is going to win? It's, um, he doesn't know, really, does he? Oh, he's turned off. He's not. He's, no, he's, the air's not stirring. He's no. gone to sleep, Jeff. He's, sorry, that fan's gone he's to sleep. Shut down. He's shut down. Gentlemen. Shut down at three quarter time. He must be a got must too, be a Glenelg supporter. Yeah, he got too cold for him, I think. Glenelg, um, is it? No, it's Richmond. Glenelg and Richmond. Richmond. They're both red and not red and black. Yellow and black, aren't they? Yellow and black. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's exactly easy right. to get that confused. Well, well so it is, um, so what's your prediction from here on in, Grego? Well. Uh, uh, I've got to be honest, I don't think my draw prediction is going to come true now. Um, I must admit that I, I favour Port Adelaide to win now. You do? Uh, I do, yes. You do? Yes. Um, You've just about conceded then, have you? Uh, well, I've conceded the draw bit, yes. Yeah, you yeah, conceded the draw? Yeah, yeah. now Port Adelaide win because, well, the conditions are slippery uh, and you can't just is suddenly... That, uh, it's only like, 23 points, Well, Gregor. I guess it's... Only 23 points, you know, they can come uh, back. Well, yeah, that's it is possible. That is, it's not it impossible. Is, I know, but the conditions are against them doing that, though, aren't they? And they I are. don't think they've been playing the well home ground factor well enough, and, and the crowds against them too. All that, yeah. So and uh, and and I just looking at the crowd too, Jeff. Uh, um, Broad bet two looks, goals. It looks like a pretty good crowd goals. there. For, considering it's so cold, Both twenty-one weird. positions. Wines nineteen. Dustin Martin yeah, twenty-five. You know all that? Oh, Did Bruce tell you? Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, no, no, Matthew actually. Matthew. Oh, Matthew. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah but, but yeah, but, look, but, he's talking to us, and you can't hear a thing. Can't hear anything. No, <laughs> but you know, Ma Matthew only says they those must things because he's must have, they he's, must have technical problems. Yeah, he's got a hotline to Bruce. He, yeah, Matthew only knows these things because Bruce tells him. Okay, all right. Look, yeah. I think they're about ready to start again, Grego. So oh, we'll are. just pause again for the moment, all and right. we'll come back for a wrap up on the final siren. We will do that, Jeff. It's um, and. Uh, we would bring you a message from our sponsors, but we don't have one. We haven't got one. Yeah. We, we've only got one fan so far, and uh, he doesn't sponsor us, so, um, so uh, it's a good idea to turn it off, Jeff. I reckon we will. <laughs> 